No, 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 no. Put it on the tab. Tab? Yeah, why not? Thank you. <laughs> Bless your heart. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Mm. I, um, yeah. I need some change for the telephone. Sure. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> the, uh, son, the call is on me. <laughs> there, uh, no, there is no way that I can change a C-note this early. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> yeah. Well, no, no. The sooner you get back here, the better off we are, Brad. No. No, Dorian did not leave the check with me. Yeah, and you know where that leaves us? No, I can't do that. Look, Brad, why don't you just get back here as soon as you can, all right? And bring some money with you. Yeah. Okay, right, bye. Cassie. Hey. Uh, listen, uh, forget you heard any of that, all right? My mother again. Yeah, your mother. Uh... But, uh, hey, let's not talk about it. Don't worry about it, all right? What do you got there? The place cards and a seating chart. That is, if there's still a party. I mean, after what I overheard you and Brad Cassie, talking about... hey, 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 don't worry about it. I told you, just a little conversation. Everything's gonna be fine. This party is gonna be terrific, okay? If you say so. Okay, I had you and I sitting at the head table together. That is, if you're still gonna be my date. After whatever my mother got on your case about, I... Oh, uh, Cassie... I wouldn't do anything in the world to ruin this party for you, but uh, I can't sit at the same table with your mother. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't doubt it if right now she's trying to get me fired. Fired? What did she say? Well, she didn't say anything yet. Okay, never mind. Look, we've got the seating chart. We don't have to sit at the head table. We can arrange it any way we want Cass, to. Cass, hey, hey, don't worry about me, all right? I'll be running all around making sure everything is perfect for you. I'll sit with Dan and Joy for dinner, and then after dinner, well, I'll spend all night dancing with you. Sounds good to me. Okay. Joy and Dan are sitting here with Larry and Laurel. Mm-hmm. And Wanda. You can sit next to Wanda. Great, great. I'll keep Wanda company, and Wanda will keep me laughing. And I'll keep my eye on you, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah, take that off. <laughs> Happy birthday, Cass. I'm sorry, the number you've dialed is no longer in service. I'm sorry, the number you've dialed... Uh, thanks, um... I'll get you your money back when I can make change. Please, if I can't afford a little charity for the rich, this place won't be here by the time you come back. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> you must have had a hard night, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, listen, why don't you sit down for a little while before you fall down? Yeah. Easy. That's a boy. Okay. Okay. Just a few minutes, huh? Yeah, sure. Listen, one for a penny and for a pound. <laughs> uh, what do you say I get you a cup of coffee? Oh, how about a nice glass of milk with a nice slice of pie? Listen, if you feel you need a beer, I could take you to that. I would. Coffee's fine. Thank okay. you. Okay. Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> I know a lot of people haven't worked for a while. They come in here, I warm them up a little bit. And people, I tell you, people never forget. Jim Havelock, he got laid off from uh, Jolenix Air Compressor. Time they recalled him. Came in here with 40 bucks. Said it was going to uh, wipe the slate clean and that that way more people could uh, come in, warm the place up a little bit. <laughs> Hello, young lovers. Hi there. What are you doing up so early? Oh, I really wanted to see the sun come up this morning. Well, that's not very romantic. Oh, I know. You guys are probably sun worshippers, right? Well, Sam's still shaking from last night. Oh, that's romantic. Uh, no, Maxie, last night when we were toasting is when the man got shot. Oh, yeah, that's pretty awful, isn't it? You were in the casino when it went down, right? Hmm. Marco, you all right? Hey. 
Yeah, right, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to read some of this stuff here. I asked you if you were in the casino when the shooting occurred. Yeah, yeah, I was in the casino when the shooting occurred. I was in the casino until 4.30 in the morning. The cops had me down there asking questions over and over and over and over again. Now, why do you think they want to be asking me those same questions over and over again, Rafe? Did they think I was going to come up with more exciting answers sooner or later? What? Marco, you never know when you're going to come up with another detail, some little thing you might forget on the first pass. They wasted a lot of time with me. I know that. They kept asking me over and over again if I thought I'd forgotten anything. What was I supposed to have forgotten? Can you explain that to me? What was I supposed to have forgotten? The fact that some guy died right in front of me? The old guy was alive one minute, the next minute he's... Uh... I'm gonna go down there, I'm gonna sign that statement right now, okay? Um, can I have this? Yeah, sure, be my guest. All right. Oh, why don't I come down to the station with you? Because I mean, with all this commotion, we haven't had to talk about Johnny's offer yet. Fine, why don't we do that? Guys, um... Take it easy, all right? Bye. Bye. Marco looks really upset. Yeah, well, witnessing a murder tends to take the edge off your day, sweetheart. Yeah, I guess. Oh, hey. Good morning. Is it? I yeah. haven't noticed. Oh. I've been working since I saw you last. I'm on my way down to police headquarters right now. I'm going to sign that statement. Do you want to go down there with me? No. No, thank you. I'll do that later. Much later. I've got to get a couple hours sleep. I'm not going to be able to work tonight. But thank you anyway. Oh, sure. Yeah, sure. Uh, hi. Excuse hi. me for interrupting, hi but the desk told me that you'd be over here. I wanted to bring you the pictures that I shot last night. Oh, my goodness. That was fast. How'd you have time to do it? Well, you can thank the police. They kept me up half the night, and then when oh, I got yeah. home, I really didn't... Well, I couldn't get to sleep. <laughs> no, it's easy to understand. It affected Sam the same way. Did it? Well, it was a lousy thing to happen on your wedding night. Well, if we had to encounter it, I wish it had been some other time. Yeah. Oh, Rafe. What's wrong, sweetheart? Oh, I I'm really sorry about that. That was the last shot on my roll. I must have processed it without realizing it. I was just so tired. I was going through the motions. Yeah, it's too bad it wasn't a wider angle. You could have picked up the gunman. Well, I wasn't exactly waiting for a hit to go down. You sound like you're familiar with the language. I'm a regular TV detective. Could we just stop talking about this, please? I really don't want to deal with it now. I didn't mean to upset you. It shook her up pretty badly. Oh. Listen, well, um, I'm sorry, really. That's okay. Look, I'll take this picture with me, okay? And, and you just enjoy the rest. Please. I'm sure we will. The bad memories will pass. That's the way it has to be. Anyway, congratulations to you both, and... I wish you the best of luck. Thanks. I'm sorry. I understand, Sam. Sit down. Come on. It's just that I... I imagined what had gone on. I... It... Seeing a picture of it, it was all real now to me. And I, now I know what he looks like. I know what he was doing before he got shot. Sweetheart, nobody wants that to come into their lives. That's why being a cop is so important. It's not fair. It's not fair to you. It's not fair to me. You have to, you have to deal with all of this, with everyone's problems. I picked it, Sam. It didn't pick me. Now you see why I told you I want to leave my work down at headquarters? Yeah. Guess I'll have to have a pipe and slippers ready for you at home. <laughs> yeah, along with Paul and souffles and slightly overdone cocoa fat. Now, wait a minute. I'm not... I'm a good cook. Yeah, you were. Now you're married. It's gone, kid. You won't be able to boil water when we get back to the land. Your marriage just drives it right out of a girl. Oh, it does, does it? Well, it better not. Yeah, don't worry about it, though. I didn't marry you for your burnt chicken or your fallen souffles. I married you for... Oh, well, wait. I sh you want somebody to hear what we're talking about here? Mom? Yeah, somebody did. You did I'm shocked. You I'm did. really shocked. You're shocked. How about I give a little public dissertation for everybody? No, I'd rather not. Stuff. You live my past triumphs. No, I'm in, thank you. I uh, don't have time. I have to get back to Landview. Hey, big deal's at the end tomorrow night. Yeah. Much preparation. You guys coming along? I'm really sorry about the situation last night, Mrs. Garrison. I hope it doesn't take the edge off your honeymoon. Well, edge or no edge, I have to get back. They gave me a week, not an extended leave of absence. I, I appreciate all you did for us last night, but I have... I have a feeling I'm going to have mixed emotions about this place. 
Well, I can understand that, but if there's anything the Crown can do to put you at ease, to make you stay more comfortable. Thank you, but uh, I think that we should just head on back home. And